Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston, and today we're going to look at a binary tree, the coding of a binary search tree. We're not going to look at binary trees, we're going to look at binary search trees, because binary trees you can arrange with any kind of data randomly, but in binary search tree you have to have particular amount of data in particular positions with a particular algorithm. So that's what we're going to do. So first we start off with the node. So node, oh sorry, class node, and then you have, uh, you know, in data because we're going to put data in the node then we're going to have a node pointer uh, that is going to be named a right and node left and then we're going to have a static int number of nodes which is going to be equal to zero because we're going to keep track of our nodes and how many nodes we create then we're going to have a node constructor in which we're going to pass int data then we're gonna have basically what we are supposed to do this dot data is equal to data now I don't know why they use this method but this is awesome so this is our data equal to data and then we're gonna do number of nodes uh, plus plus and that's it now why do we create a node because we want something that is now a binary tree is basically an abstract data type uh, it's something which we use to store data so in that we need something to hold the data and this is what we use to contain it a node contains the data now int can be anything data character string whatever so that's how we do this so after done after doing the node we have to literally go in here so we have that is uh, the binary tree definition class binary tree and uh, in here we have a few things now this is not where our main function will be but we have to have a few things so we can have public void add node and uh, in here we're gonna have in data because we're gonna pass this out so but before this we need something which is basically related to um, adding the nodes we need uh, well we need the root basically so we didn't have root currently so node root node current and uh, no temp so we obviously gonna use root to you know point to the root It's gonna be the main part be main node where we start the traversal from current is basically gonna be the place which we use to you know just traverse the node and temp is gonna be well if in case we need it we're gonna use it so how do we add a node so in f at the beginning we do node node equal to new node and here we pass data basically because this is the data we pass over here which we're going to pass eventually over here I mean from here we're making an object which is going to have a dynamic memory allocation system in which is going to give the data to this part that's pretty awesome so that happens and then we have a few conditions to satisfy if root is equal to equal to null or else something else so what if root is equal to equal to null if the root is equal to equal to null, it means that there is no actual binary tree created. So we're going to do it. Root is equal to node. That's how easy it is to create a binary tree. Uh, then we're going to do root dot next equal to null. Oh, not notify. Root dot next. Sorry, it's not next. It's right. Root dot right equal to uh, null. And uh, root dot left is equal to null. That's how it is. So else what? Else current is equal to root because we're going to start from the current and uh, we, we, we don't want to do any operation with the root because if we mess up the root then we have to pay a big price. That is losing our binary tree. So while true, now we're going to use the while true fun true um, technique because a recursion is very difficult at, at this step. It's not actually needed and uh, we can even do it like this. So. Uh, current is equal to root that's what we're gonna do because we don't mess with the root we need the root for other stuff so current is gonna be what we use to traverse the tree the root is gonna be stationary so we're gonna use the while uh, infinite while loop method to do this because you know infinite while loop is fun and the fact that a recursion can be ca can be a bit difficult in this method so let's just go with the flow and then we're going to check for two um, two particular if conditions. If data is less than 
current dot data and uh, else now what is the basic essence of a binary tree the binary tree is basically be a part of the root it, it has a root that which will you know start the basic recursion thing traversing so while the data which is entering the root is greater than the root it will go to the right side but if it's less than the root it will go to the left side the left node if you if you have um if you really want to visualize a binary tree I, I suggest you go to the wikipedia page and check it out because the binary trees which are given in there are ridiculously awesome and you'll learn a lot from there this is the code but uh, if you want to visualize it graphically you should go over there if the data is less than the current data in the node the data which you inputted for the new node then you go to this block or else you go to this block in this block there are again two conditions to check if current dot left is equal to equal to null and else what so if it is equal to equal to null what you do is you actually put that node o over here it's that simple isn't it you just take it up and put it in there so you go current dot left is equal to node and that's about it and then you go and do this that is all of the stuff which you do over here hmm. current and uh, current dot left dot left why did you do why do I do this because I just like to do it and <laughs> I like to you know put it as null I know Java you know defaults it to null but I, I, I like to do it on my own um, then you are obviously gonna break this out because uh, if you don't break out of this I mean it's gonna be continuously going around the loop around the loop else what do you do current is equal to current dot next so left and uh, what about the right part well it's it's very simple actually just copy and paste this whole thing and it's done see right so wherever you see right you just not fight come on Quinston it's right 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 and right so basically everything is the same in this both blocks except for the left and right thing so that's how you do it um, and that's how you basically add a node it's that simple now the next thing we're gonna do is basically how do I um, you know how do I traverse the tree so we're gonna make a print function public void print how do I traverse and print stuff on the screen so we're gonna make a print function in that we're gonna have some a few things we're gonna have pre-order printing we're gonna have in order printing and then we're gonna have post order printing so what are all these things and in here we're gonna pass the root here we're gonna pass the root and here we're gonna pass the root so how do I create method create method and create method so what do I do to deserve this so um, basically I will put this as a I don't know temp I guess this will be temp and this will be temp oh wait I already named a temp over here so I just have to you know, eliminate this yeah so this is pretty good um, now how does uh, in order pre-order and post order work now the basic essence of in order pre-order and post order is that you have to traverse the tree in some sorts but the thing is that you can't actually print the whole tree you know because that would be a waste of space and everything so you have this to visualize how your tree is supposed to be now there are methods in which you can create the tree based on two of these suppose you have post order and in order traversals you can make the tree suppose you have these two or any other combinations of two of these so how do you go about it so let's check out pre-order first because that's, that's an essence thing or whatever that means so if temp is not equal to null and you always have to do this because if it's null, if it's if temp is equal to null, there is no point in going inside. You're gonna do system dot out dot print not print print ln and in here you're gonna print sorry temp dot uh, data basically and plus 
space because you know you need the space every time. So this is what you're gonna print. But then is comes the most interesting part. You're gonna take this value, copy, paste, and you're gonna eliminate this, and you're gonna do temp dot data. Sorry, temp dot left. And then you're gonna do the same thing over here. Control V and temp dot right. Now why did they do this? I did this because I wanted to recursively print every node which is present in this tree. So how does this happen? So suppose I, I, I pass in root over here, right? So pre-order root. So we go in here, it will check if root is not equal to null, it will go inside. If it's null, then it will want to go inside, obviously. It will print the root, then we will go pre-order root dot left. Now the left node of the root will go inside here. It will be like, okay, so next one the root dot left root dot left is not equal to null it will go inside and print that value same thing will happen again but then it will realize that there is uh, when this it comes to this part and it's like oh my god it's null is th it has nothing to execute so we'll come back to this part and be like okay pre-order right but then we start from that node okay so it's gonna print everything again and again and again and again until you have the entire tree printed out which is completely awesome so what about in order and post order the speciality about this is for pre-order you start with printing the root with in order the root is at the second position and with post order the the root is at the last position so if I have to fill up these functions I'm going to just copy and paste this copy paste copy paste and in here I'm going to write post order v v and this is going to be in order v v and after this I'm gonna have basically a system dot out dot print ln a new line because you know obviously you need new lines a lot of times in this kind of a program so so basically when you do all that you have to do something like this a post order is gonna be at the last right it's gonna be at the last so you're gonna do this over here see I pressed alt and I just press the arrow keys up or down so that, that that's what happened also remember that you're gonna always have left and right and never gonna have like right above left that's that's a rule so post order you have system dot out at the last for in order you have this at the begin at, at the second point and then for pre order you have at the beginning now I encourage you to take a piece of paper and write this down because this is pretty awesome it's pretty badass Maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Whatever. So let's just. Uh, so we're gonna make the main function now. Class, main. Oh, sorry, it's not a function. It's a class. Public. Static. Void. Main. String. Args. Obviously, you don't need the string args. This is for you know, like command line arguments. But I still like to use it. It's like standard Java. So you're gonna do binary tree b equal to new binary tree this is an object then we have to add nodes but I'm gonna be lazy for uh, int i equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus and then I'm gonna say int rand is equal to uh, int and uh, math dot random you know I like random numbers right multiplied by a hundred and then I'm gonna say uh, b dot add no this is just a fun way to add nodes without actually typing one at a time that's why I didn't use a scanner function to input data from the user or you know whatever other functions you use so then we rand over here and then I'm gonna say uh, b dot print and yeah that's the you know that's about it let's just run it and find find out what happens run it and yeah this is your whatever hmm. so thanks for watching next time we're gonna cover um, how to delete a node how to insert a node or even how to you know there's this weird operation which you can do like check calculate the 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 leaves of the node we're going to do that and uh, we're going to do depth depth first traversal and uh, breadth first traversal
It's gonna be fun. I like.